Welcome back. I want to bring you a story now about the impact of an Oscar-nominated film that goes well beyond the movie theatre. That film about finding your birth family is Lion. It stars Dev Patel and Nicole Kidman and is the true story of a young Australian man who goes in search of the family he lost at the age of five in rural India. Saru, you need to face reality. What do you mean, reality? Do you have any idea what it's like knowing my real brother and mother spend every day of their lives looking for me? Huh? How every day my real brother screams my name. Well, Saru's incredible journey has inspired many people. One of them is here with, with us now, actress Terry Godley, who was herself born on the streets of Calcutta, although adopted very soon thereafter. But Terry, you saw this film at the London Film Festival. How did it strike you? Well, I mean, the film's incredibly powerful, as I'm, I'm sure everyone knows who's seen it. But um, when I saw the film, I think it was the, the... I mean, the first half of the film was very much driven by uh, Saru as a, as a child, which is fantastic. But, it's the second half of the film when Dev Patel is portraying so brilliantly the point at which Saru is going slightly stir crazy once he, he, he gets it into his head that he needs to find his birth mother and his birth family um, and let them know he's okay. It kind of becomes a, a real mission for him. And when I watched that part of the film, I could really you know, connect with it because it's something that hasn't been driving me mad, but it's something that I've wanted to do for so long and didn't really know where to start. And when I watched the film and I, I realised that Saru Briley himself had very little to go on, um, aside from, you know, Google Earth and some memories. And I thought, well, if he could, if he could do it and travel all that way, you know, maybe there's a chance for me. Maybe I could really look into this and, and, and find so her. So we've, I know we've got pictures we can show the viewers of you as a little girl, oh but, but then... <laughs> So you have this whole life, you're adopted, you're loved, you're brought up here in the UK, yeah. but you're thinking about the other, what, what, what could, could have been and who's mm. out there who's yeah. related to me. Yeah, absolutely. And um, it, it's, it, it's difficult to explain. I think anyone who's adopted will, will understand. Um, and I was adopted by a couple who, if you looked at them, you'd, th you'd never know I was adopted. You know, my father was English, my mother was Indian, but had brought up, been brought up in Trinidad. Um, and they wanted to adopt a child who had Indian and European roots, so Anglo-Indian effectively, and they achieved what they wanted to achieve in that I didn't look like I was adopted. And, um, you know, from that point of view, it worked. But I obviously had grown up knowing I was adopted. And you always wonder. I'd always wondered. Um, I always wanted to know who I looked like, if I had brothers and sisters. Um, and, you know, quite recently, um, I've reconnected with the couple that actually adopted me legally first to get me out of Shishu Baban, which was Mother Teresa's home. Uh, there was an infection going around the home and, and in order to, to save me, uh, Philomena Srivastava uh, is the lady, she, uh, she actually chose me and brought me home to her family and I lived with them for a good, you know, four or five months. Before. So you've made that connection. So you're I've starting to get more clues connection. now in your absolutely. journey. Oh, absolutely. I mean, Vijay and Philomena Srivastava are the key to me finding my birth mother. Uh, Vijay's going back to Calcutta in April for five months, and he's going to be our kind of man on the ground, if you like, and connect with doctors and the nuns at the home. And, and slowly, but surely, hopefully, we're going to piece together bits. Do you know, do you, you think you might have a sibling? I'm thinking of who you're looking for. I definitely have one sibling. Um, there was talk that I had three, but uh, Philo uh, Srivastava, the lady who adopted me first, she said that my birth mother would actually return to the home uh, at least one or two times to, to see me. And she always brought another child with her, an older child with her, and would walk across the courtyard with this child in hand. So I definitely have one older sibling. And I was adopted as an only child, so for me, I'm now seeing those pictures of you as a very little girl. Oh, God. And, um, <laughs> and are you getting any, any lessons, any advice, any help from Saru or the, the people who, who helped him? Do you know what? I would love to connect with Saru. Um, I did send him a little email, and I'm working very closely with the Hope Foundation, who do amazing work in Calcutta for the street kids or the street-connected kids. And um, 
Karin, who's the director, has been a great sort of, um, of help to me and has become a good friend. And she was in contact with, their, with his press office. So we have sent emails and things, but so far I've not, I've not had any luck so far, but I would, I would love to connect and when, with And when do you go back? When are you going to go well, to the ground? Well, definitely this year. I don't know exactly when, um, because it's, it's my journey that I'm going to do anyway. Um, and there was talk of, of running a documentary alongside that and following my journey. Um, I'm not sure whether that will happen. I may just take my own camcorder and do it myself. Um, but definitely this year, hopefully kind of May. Well, come back and tell us yes, what I you will. find. I will. And Thank good you. luck. Thank you very much. Thank you, Terry. Thanks.